All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel. Everybody say hello to Ren and Stimpy, Powder Toast Man, Log TV, and Choo Choo, and let's get started with today's video. Okay, so guys, we have a new knife company alert for you. This is the the ED oh, wow, the new breed EDC Clydesdale. This is so you guys that don't know, Mark P over at Loot 10 Techs. Loot.10.text. He's on uh, YouTube and Instagram. He's active in the community. He's, uh, he reviews. He does videos. Um, has now designed his own knife, and he does his own CAD, which I think is really cool. Has designed his own knife, and he has more designs to come. And this, the Clydesdale, is the first horse out of the gate. Uh, the first of the new breed EDC. Yeah, I know that was corny, but it, it is me. Um, so this is um, OEM'd by Kubi. And what you have here is slightly contoured titanium scales uh, with a stonewash finish. Now, I showed this briefly in another video. This is Kubi's bead blast finish, and this is the stonewash finish. So if you look real intently, you can see the difference, okay? There is a difference it's not a huge difference, but there is a difference. Um, so, and then you have black hardware. You have a plain black pivot hardware. I mean, a screw on one side, so it's a captive pivot. You do have a black um, uh, titanium pocket clip, and you're gonna have about that much sticking out of the pocket. It is reversible. Now, first thing. Uh, Mark, if you can, in the, uh, well, you know what, I'm going to read his list of changes here in a minute. You, you try to get a plate right here, a, a filler plate. Um, just, you know, that's the first thing I would say. Um, and then close, you just have this really intriguing, whoa, intriguing look. Um, you got, uh, you know, flat to here, and then you got this dip and kind of like a rhino horn here. Um, and then you see the grind, and then you have this flipper tab that sticks out quite a ways, but we're going to talk about that. And uh, just a cool look. Now, uh, long hole here, and you can flip this guy uh, from down, from up here. Uh, flick it, excuse me. You can flick it from down at the bottom. You can flick it from the middle. It is great at middle finger flicking. You can see detent on this one. I would call it, I'm, I'm just doing that on purpose. Uh, no panicking. I would call that great, okay? It's a good detail. It might be slightly light here, but it makes up for it here. We'll talk about that. Um, and then you've got the thumb open. Uh, need a little bit of wrist there. Just, well, no. Okay, there we go. No wrist needed. Uh, and then that the drop, guys, is stupid, okay? It's just, this is a big, heavy blade. There's your middle finger flick. Uh, you can see... Probably the best I've ever done with a middle finger flick. Now, warning to everyone, that tab does come back, but it's not as bad as some, okay? You see, where I'm naturally grabbing it, it is not hitting me. It is stopping short of where I am. Uh, so that's what I talk about. And, you know, for me, this one was designed right because it's clear me. And you can see I'm hitting this every time, no matter where my thumb is landing, the jimping is perfect for that flick. The, the leverage here is good. I can do it without wrist. A um, little more sluggish there. But man, just such a big honking blade. You get it going, the momentum's going to carry it. <clears throat> Very interesting knife. Now, I want to go ahead and grab a piece of cardboard here. And I will just tell you in advance, cardboard-wise, uh, this guy is an annihilator, okay? Now, we'll say it is a little uh, thicker, and I cut, tried to cut some paper, and it kind of grabbed the paper. It probably, I'm the first guy to, to get this, and it feels sticky sharp, but I think it's just a little bit thicker. Let's see what he says here. He says, uh, by the way, you saw I cut the cardboard, so it's a, it's cutting. I'm just giving you some more information, that's all. Um, it doesn't tell me the thickness, and I got to tell you, my calipers stink but if i had to guess it's about a um 3.2 millimeter or maybe 0.12 on the thickness which is fine but you have a lower grind here and i believe let me just look at it one more time yes yeah, so if it's hollow 
If it's hollow, it's just slightly hollow. I think it's flat. Does it say here? Let's see. Come on, KC. Yeah, he doesn't say here. I, I, but it is, it is Kubi. So if it's a hollow, it's, it's very shallow. Um, got that satin finish, and you have, of course, the uh, vertical satin and the hor horizontal on the flats. But again, what I was trying to say is, it, it does. Um, it has a little bit of a wedge to it there, just simply because you know it's not super tall, but. It does cut, so, you know, I'm just being stupid, of course. Let's just try a corner here. And I bet, see how it's kind of, there, it, it cut, but it kind of grabs just a little bit, if you see. So, that's all I was trying to say. I, I think it's going to do just fine. And as a matter of fact, um, it did. You just saw it annihilate that cardboard. So, just was explaining that. That's all. Now, um, you do have an inset liner lock. Uh, you do not have any steel on this side. It is just milled titanium. And then you have uh, an inset liner on that side, which is awesome. Steel liner. Your lockup is about a 30 to 35. No lock rock, no blade play. Kubi is killing it, guys. And then your centering, it is dead on centered. And your tip does come all the way out to the end, as you can see. Um, very, very cool. Let's get some of this out and we'll talk specs. Now these are available as we speak, um, on pre-order. Okay. So you're not going to get it right away. Uh, but they're available. Uh, and Mark, I'm sorry. I cut your paper, man. I, I had to have something to cut here. Um, all right. This is 7.65 inches overall, 3.3 inch blade length, 4.3 inch handle, 4.7 ounces, 14C28N. It is a modified Warncliffe with stonewashed titanium and uh, black, uh, black titanium hardware made by Kubi. So let's go through the list of changes real quick. He's got jimping will wrap over the top of the front flipper. Now, I don't even know. I guess that's necessary if people want to grab it like this, but you guys know I suck at that. I can't even do it. So I guess that's what he's doing there. Um, slightly stronger detent, which I think would be fine. Um, pull back the plunge grind if possible to increase the size of the sharpening choil. Um, you see there, hold on, focus. Don't you do this to me. There we go. You could use a little more room to clear the plunge there, but not bad, really, if you think about it. Chamfer the lock bar access near lockup. And I think what he means is he's just going to cut this back just a little bit, but for me, guys... I, I, don't, I don't know if that's necessary. My thumb goes right in there, and then it's going to just literally fall. I mean, it's this thing is dead drop uh, guillotine. Um, but, yeah, he's saying cut just that nub right there, I think, right at the point of lockup so you can get in there easier, but I don't have a problem with that. Um, increase the size of the stop pin. Didn't really look at the stop pin. Um, let's see. It's right there. Just wants a little bit bigger stop pin. That sounds good. Fine, fine, fine. Um, asked for a hollow grind, so I'm going to ask if that can be done. So this is flat. Good. I'm glad I was right. And asked for belt satin, so need to ask if that's possible. Um, yeah, that would look cool as well. Very cool. Now, these are available right now at newbreededc.com on the pre-order $115, guys. Um, so really my only other comment would be, let's talk about ergos here and they're fantastic. I mean, it's good. It feels good. Don't feel the pocket clip feels really good. Your thumb rests right on that jimping. If you want to come out of here, there's no jimping, but you don't need it. And I showed in my, uh, unboxing, you've got this great little spot here that he intended for, uh, this kind of pinch cut here. Um, very, very good. If you like that kind of grip, this is your knife. That is magic. You can't get, I mean, you can get your thumb out there, but it's not what I would do. Um, I, for thumb, I would be here or here, um, which is great. I don't need jimping out there. I know a lot of people are jimping Nazis, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, and by the way, the lock bar is access is great, if I didn't say that. I think I did. But ergonomics is good. The only other thing I would point out, and this is just... KC being KC is the only thing I, I've mentioned 
is, again, I'm not usually a huge fan of these rhino things here, but I do see why he did it, and I like it. But the only thing I would say is it would have been cool to have, like, an angular chop at the end of the handle because you got, like, the angular thing going on here, and it would have been cool instead of have this kind of rounded to kind of have, I don't know. And again, I'm a designer, so don't listen to me. Let the man design his own stuff. But that's that's literally the only thing, and that's like nitpicking because this thing is for $115, 14C, satin, and stonewashed titanium. Yeah, you cannot go wrong, guys. So please, don't misunderstand uh, KC being a goofball with his crazy nitpicking. It is a fantastic knife. Now, size-wise... Uh, it's going to be a little bit smaller than the Ontario Rat 1, which is a big knife. And it's going to be a little bit bigger than the Ontario Rat 2. So what we have here is a you know knife in the middle, if you will. And just because I know it's an 8-inch knife, and because it's a kind of cool comparison, here is the upcoming Tempest Jetstream, which is an 8-inch knife. So you can see tiny bit here, tiny bit there, uh, just kind of to give you a size comparison so there you go guys uh and again uh great knife again i don't know how you could go wrong uh with this one at um 115 dollars uh now that will not if you want that price get in on the pre-order because that will not be the price that they will go when when he has them in hand so support the guy he needs uh you know I, from what i understand um, you know, he needs to sell more of these, so definitely support him and get out there and uh, make it happen for the guy and let's 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 do this, you know, so he can get this design out there and he's got more in the queue. So uh, really love the support of the community. That is super, super cool. So there you go, guys. Uh, nice fast review of the uh, I keep wanting to say beyond EDC. I don't know why. New breed EDC Clydesdale. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below. All the things, like, comment, subscribe, notification bell. And thank you so much for watching this long video for me and for watching the Knives Fast channel.